Hi everybody, this is Red Rob from Candlelight Productions, and we're here to talk about the Blackmagic Design ATEM 1ME production switcher and how it interacts with GoPro cameras. Specifically, their HDMI output plugged into the switch for uh, use on live production events. So what we have in front of us first here are, is the uh, Hero 3 Plus Black Edition camera set to 1080, uh, 30 frames per second. We have a Hero 4 Silver Edition set to 1080, 30 frames per second. Uh, we also have here the brand new GoPro 5 and it is also set to 1080, uh, 30 frames per second. And to the left of me here we have the ATEM switch around the back here. On HDMI number four is one input device. It's a HDMI cable, which I have hanging out over here. So for our first test, we're going to plug the Hero 3 Plus Black Edition into the ATEM 1ME production switch and see if it indeed does recognize this HDMI output uh, on the switch. Right now you can see there is uh, nothing on the preview display. And let's just plug this puppy in and see how that reacts. Okay, so we plug that in, and let's see what happens here. Well, other than the loose cables, the picture just uh, went off and on. Uh, you can see that it has a perfectly fine uh, output, very clean. Uh, you also notice that there is uh, on-screen display information, which a lot of people have asked how you can turn that off, how can I turn that off. Uh, on the GoPro menu, there is an option to turn off the OSD, which stands for on-screen display. If you turn that off, it will be a completely clean output. If you need any help, uh, feel free to message me and I'd be happy to help you with that. Now I'm going to unplug that and slide in our Hero 4 Silver Edition camera. You'll also see there's nothing on the display at the moment. Flip it around, plug it in. It's a nice, actually, firm fit. It's a little better than it was on the Hero 3 camera. And what do we have going on up here? Nothing. Nothing at all. The HDMI cable is the same. Everything else is the same. The only thing that's different is that when I plug it into the camera, I have no output. We'll swap that out. Let's plug the HDMI cable into our brand new Hero 5 camera and see how it responds. Maybe we'll have uh, more luck with that. And by the way, this door does come off if anybody uh, is curious about that. So you can use it with your cages and it'll work just fine. So let's plug that in. Fantastic. And voila! Oh, um, nothing. Nothing at all. Still no output on the switch. Let's unplug this. And just for one more round trip test, we're going to bring back in our Hero 3 and plug it in. And other than the loose cable, which is making the picture go off and on every now and then, uh, there we go. Uh, you can see it works fine with the ATEM 1 ME production switch. So in conclusion, uh, of these three GoPro cameras, the only one which actually talks with the ATEM 1 ME production switcher is the Hero 3 Plus Edition, which is the clear winner. The 4 and 5 do not communicate with the ATEM 1 ME production switcher, which requires an interlaced signal. My only theory is that GoPro changed the implementation of the HDMI output such that when the output device requires an interlaced signal, they are only outputting the progressive signal. 1080p and the ATEM switch does not recognize that. So uh, GoPro, we'd love it if you would do something about this and fix that bug so the uh, HD implementation is proper and it does output an interlay signal when it requires it. Thanks for watching. This is Rob, Red Rob at Candlelight Productions. Hope this has been helpful.